Hello everyone, I am Bidobon from the Linux Teach team and today I will be demonstrating one of the uses of wget. So you may ask, well Bidobon, before starting off your demonstration, can you please explain what is wget? And wget is a really simple tool and it or a software package, it stands for the World Wide Web Get. So you get to submit uh, get requests to worldwide web servers. So let's look at it from a cybersecurity perspective. If we have two objects here, and the first one is a target machine that you have remote code execution on it, but you don't have write permissions. So you can't write exploits, you could you cannot do anything on this machine other than just execute code and you want to execute an exploit and you have the second object here which is the attack machine so a simple or a very useful way to use wget is to send your code or your exploit uh, to the defender machine or the target machine and exploit it from there or run it from here so then you could do a lot of things like privilege escalation and maybe getting the data you want but first off you have to send the exploit from your attacker machine that you test on it you write on it you do everything on it so we send it to the using wget or curl so i will be actually doing another video on curl and the differences between wget and curl but for this video I will be only discussing wget. So let's say we have here two machines. Just as we said, we have machine 1 over here and machine 2. Let's get them like this. Yes, like this. Oh, yeah. And I will use control and plus sign to increase font for you guys. Yep, here you go. And control and plus sign on the other one to get it real nice. Right. So, on this one, I will. First off, we want to use wget, right? So, wget pulls or downloads a file from, the, from a web server. So, we will host just a simple Python server on this machine or this shell and we will get it from this machine all right so we're passing both of these machines are on the same network so let's first do an if config all right so we've got the uh, our ip here this is an ipv4 all right so if we do a python dash m so let's do that so dash m dash m stands for the uh, it makes modules run as scripts so we'll use this module which is the simple simple http server and we'll specify the port port a not a dash <laughs> all right so we're serving an eight in http server on 0.0, .0 which is localhost all right we're serving on localhost port 80 so our ip is this we could go here and go to the web just type in firefox yeah all right and we go like this all right so we have all the files that we're serving on this python python server so you could access them from here or any place but we don't want to access them from here right we want to grab them from this machine this machine that has only like remote code execution and doesn't have permissions to write so i want to pass uh, for example a file let's open up another one and oh 
sorry let's open another terminal and just do that we want to pass by a file called text.text .text. and if we cat out or list or you like and if we cat out this file we'll get cat basically shows you what's in the file we get hello there all right so i want to get this file that's on here to here on this machine that doesn't have this file so all right so we want to pass by the exploit all right so i'm here on this machine which i have uh all permissions to do anything i want basically so i'm gonna nano um exploit dot text all right so we have exploit dot text so this exploit dot text this is of course not a real exploit guys this is for educational purposes only uh, and i'm using m m like my machine so this is only for education so you're gonna say hello there um and exploits right and we're gonna control x and yes control x again yep enter all right so ls we have exploit dot text good now exploit dot text is being served on this server remember that this machine does not have write commands so we could not write any exploits on it so we want to pass by the exploit so we're gonna use wget for this purpose we're gonna go like all right well let's cd to downloads first because i'm a very clean uh, dude so let's go like ls there isn't anything right so we're gonna use wget um from this server and get the exploit to this machine we're going to use wget and http which we are running an http server on here and this colon then slashes double slashes so and then our ip which is here so we're going to copy this and use it here um, and then we're gonna do a slash and the name of the file so we know that this file is actually on the desktop so we are currently on dash root which is on the desktop so we don't need to do anything but if you want to write like a location you could go like dash downloads for example dash uh, another file you could do anything you want it's all based on the location of your exploit so let's go uh, to exploit dot text i hope it works first try let's go right so what happened here let's increase the size of this so it connected to my ip port 80 because i specified the port here port 80 right uh, when writing the simple python server uh here it's simple http server 80 don't forget the dash m for module so it connected to my ip successfully and it sent an http request awaiting response 200 okay so saving to exploit.txt everything is moved and yeah let's do a less now wow we now have the exploit let's see if it's the same the same exploit so exploit dot text hello there i'm on i'm an exploit so you could run this exploit because you have code execution you could do whatever you want on the next video i'll be using curl and comparing both wget and curl but w gets gets the job done so uh thank you guys so much for watching please drop a like drop a question whatever you want or like to do and i will be here to help you or to help simplify some
concepts for you. So thank you and I will see you on the next video. Bye.